Mi tío es gringo. Ah, ¿su tío? <risa> sí. Ah, tu tío se lo llevó para allá. <risa> sí. All right, I have a video where I showed you guys the poorest part of Bogota, so now I'm going to go show you the richest part. Well, but I am ready to get the hell out of Bogota because I've been sick here for six days and this is a completely busted trip, but I'm not I'm not going to let it go to complete waste. So uh, we're headed to the richest part of Bogota. Good day. That's one of the nicest bikes I've ever seen in Bogota, Ninja, that's crazy. Says this guy's here, but I don't see him anymore. Oh, he's over at the stoplight. Buenas. <laughs> oh, it's all wet. Hola. Como estas? This? See, see, see. Gracias, señor. Okay, Ryan. Dios contigo. Day. You too. Dios okay. contigo. Okay, thanks. Same for you. Kind of mad. You feeling kind of sad? Juan Vado's coffee. Pushing through my Air Force Ones. Are filthy. Need to get them clean. I really hate it when people run up to me trying to constantly clean my shoes, but now I actually need it, and I don't see a single person. This is Andino. Andino is the nicest mall in Bogota. Maybe in Colombia, I'm not sure, but you you pay a lot of money for name brand stuff. Uh, it's like Louis Vuitton, anything like that, you're gonna pay almost double than you would in like America and, and stuff like that. But <clears throat> a lot of every, a lot of other stuff is cheap though, so it's just the name brand stuff that you know you're gonna you're gonna pay hefty for Psycho Bunny, stuff like that. But, this one about his coffee is Hidden. Mm. Beat Starbucks right out of the water. Man, I wish I was recording that. This guy tried to sell me a watch. <laughs> he was like, You're gonna take it, you're gonna take it. I was like, No, no, I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> I really want my shoes cleaned. Usually there's 500 people out here trying to clean the shoes, but since it's a little rainy, there's not a single person. So, gonna find that man. I think I found my guy. Quanta Cuesta. Dios mío. Quanta Cuesta? Dios mío. Dios Necesito perfección. Sí, sí. Aquí está todo eso. 
Put a fake show. All right. I found my guy here, I think. Uh, <coughs> muy sucio. Sí, está muy sucia. Estaba en Costa Rica. No. ¿Es de Costa Rica? Sí, yo. Ah, bueno. Es uh, sí, su no. sucio. Sí, uh, en trajín. Uh, en Bogotá, seis días sí. ahora. ¿Seis días ya? Sí, sí. So, ah. cuatro, cuatro veces. ¿Cuatro meses va a durar? Sí, en Bogotá. Mi tía, que sabe mi tío, en Villa de Leyva. Ah, está por acá en Leyva. Sí, ocho años en el pasado. Mi tía es colombiana. Sí. Mi tío es gringo. Ah, ¿Su tío? <risa> sí. Ah, tu tío se lo llevó para allá. <risa> sí. sí, sí, sí. Mismo, <risa> mismo. Sí. Side by side. <laughs> Found my guy here. What's your name? Hako. Hako. It's ironic, I was just in Hako. My Air Force Swans. <laughs> I'm really a big fan of when your shoes get dirty, you just get another pair, but I don't know, this is, they're not horribly dirty, and uh, it's an Air Force One in black, so kind of, you know, fix it up. Looks like he's putting some, like, paste on now. For, like, the leather, I guess? Tú vives en Bogotá todos los días? Aquí, claro, toda la vida. Ah. Toda la vida. Oh, lo siento. Ah, yeah. overall, he was a nice guy tried to charge me more when it was all said and done than he said at the beginning, but I call him out on it and then he's like, ah, okay, okay, you know. But yeah, it's kind of cool. We put like wax on the leather and make the leather kind of shine more. Yeah, it's hard to pay somebody when you're holding a camera in one hand, a coffee in the other, and then trying to pull out money in your pocket with a bunch of other people looking at you. It's kind of difficult, so <laughs> couldn't get it on video. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this restaurant behind me and then this restaurant right here are super nice restaurants. You're gonna pay more if not in the United States. Well, you're gonna pay more there is what I'm trying to say. It's just a really nice area that I'm in. Uh, like Storia did a more, and then there's this one called Malifor really really high-end uh, restaurants delicious 
wonder if I can get a good, yeah, check this out. Like stone sculpture, I wonder if you can kind of see it back there. It's pretty cool, made out of 100% stone. It's a Monday, Monday afternoon, rainy, so this place is dead, but this place is usually just popping with people. It's, it's the nicest part you can be in, really. Kugo Boss up there. Welcome to one of the nicest malls in all of South America. Andino. This place is just absolutely flooded in security, which is a good thing. I mean, keeps it safe. A lot of super high end stores here. Boom. Here is the, you know, food area. Probably my favorite area in the mall, honestly. Super pretty. It's like another Juan Valdez. There's a seat out here, probably not. Oh, there is, perfect. Let's get a video of this one. Heck yeah. So if you come to Bogota, and you just want a nice, laid-back mall to come to, this is it, Andino. Andino, this whole area, can be totally safe, relaxing. If you're feeling kind of mad, feeling kind of sad, just need a relaxing place, this is your spot. Probably headed back now, but you guys saw what the what the rich part of Bogota looks like. Where a lot of like foreigners stay and people who have money here. But I'll catch you guys in the next one, and I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao.